Howdy ranchers, welcome back to another Predator Provisions video and it's Saturday night and what's Saturday night? Creature feature night guys so last week Scolopendra viridis very cool but this week we've got a king size surprise for you guys here it is y'all Cytala Horda the Horrid King Assassin Bug Okay, we just had to bring you guys in for the up close and personal here. I mean, look at this magnificent creature, y'all. So there is sexual dimorphism. Uh, females, the underside of their belly is completely smooth. The males, at the end of their abdomen, have this little round outgrowth. Uh, this guy is, n I think, one molt away from being a full adult. We will try and sex him or her at a later time. We only do have the one for right now, and we will be getting more if you want to do a, a communal. Uh, we're going to be using the same Zoomed enclosure that we did for our scorpion video. I don't want to stress him out too much, but I do want you guys to be able to see him right now. Isn't that gorgeous? And I just can't get over how incredible. Look at all those spikes on there. What an armored beast. So they also had these, uh, their mouth parts, uh, tubular, it's kind of like proboscis, uh, but it's called a rostrum. It actually, uh, there's a little harpoon in there, and they shoot that harpoon out, and they've got venom. I don't, I don't believe it's medically significant, but venom's, it's painful. It probably not to be saying, maybe a little bit more, but uh, we're not going to give it a chance, guys. This is another one of those creatures that, these are very much a hands-off pet. Um, you know, intermediate, advanced keepers, y'all do what you want. Um, but I'm trying to gear these, these videos towards novice, and, and these are not on the list of what I would call handleable species, guys. Look at this antenna going. Checking things out. I could just sit back here and watch this guy all night, guys, but we got to get to this video. Let's go ahead and escape this thing. I've got some really cool materials. Um, I did some pretty awesome things here. Um, I used some wire, and I just took pieces and was able to put it together. We took some of the uh, sphagnum moss to cover up cracks, and it came out pretty cool. I, I'm pretty stoked about this. So like I said, we just used uh, plant wire from what we used here to cut off. Let's see, you can see here. Some, we got some good pieces with some good fake plants on there. That's gonna like, they're just gonna, the Horde King Assassins are just gonna look so killer crawling around all that. So, we're gonna go for a uh, vertical arboreal setup, and we're definitely gonna give it depth. So, we're gonna get a little bit higher in the background, a little shallow in front. We're gonna use jungle mix, and up in the corner right here. Uh, where their water dish is going to go. I'm actually going to put this fluorite black sand. Uh, I was reading that they, they really, really like to lay eggs in the sand, but they'll, they'll do it in Repti Soil, Jungle Mix. But uh, I want to give that a go. Okay, ranchers, let's get to it. Let's rock this. Okay, y'all, I just want to show you again. We did the same thing we did to the top last time. I didn't super glue it this time because I want to. I want to see something. Um, after a while, these will dry out. Uh, they might get a little crumbly, but I'm wondering if the little bit of humidity, the 50% or so that I'm wanting to keep, is going to be enough to keep these a little bit moist. And I can listen. I can always uh, super glue them back again later. So same tip, guys. Okay, when we put it down, so you didn't hear it. You didn't hear a click. Okay, push them out to make sure they're in. Lift up. Good to go. Okay. So we're going to keep you guys up Daddy. tight and personal on this because my little girl's in the room and she wants to see Daddy do this apparently. So uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to speed ramp from here on out, y'all. Uh, we'll catch you in a bit. Enjoy. Sorry, I forgot to hit record there. 
But uh, I work this this other one in there. Then I reposition this. There it is guys, another solid build. Why don't you guys leave a comment, let me know what you think. I do tend to plant, or escape a little heavy, but I have said it before, I'll say it again, my feeling is that they feel more at home, they're gonna be more comfortable, out more, they're gonna breed more. Let's, uh, we got one more thing to do. So they like a dry substrate, but in order to get proper egg incubation and all that, we're gonna overflow this corner, that's why we did the sand here so we're going to keep this corner moist we might spray uh once a week but for right now humidity being up there at 61 i think i want it about 50. but we're going to keep doing more research um, and when doing your research guys always cite your sources number one but always get more than one get more than one factual representation of the of the research species you're you're looking for i always like to do a minimum of three um, and, if, and if everybody's agreeing on the same thing, then I tend to, then I have a tendency to follow that to follow that line. But let's go ahead and get our little dude in here. Okay, y'all. Like I said, these guys have a harpoon and they have venom, so we want to be super careful. Okay, and keep our fingers out of the way. We're going to put the cup right in front of them, and then we're just going to try and gently scoop, scooch him in there, just like our T, Toronto, just like we did with him. Apply constant pressure. There. Let's get a better look at this guy. So when we get him in, we'll spend a couple minutes. We'll get some crickets. We'll put two in there because you guys have got to see how this dude hunts. And he's just going to come right on himself. Yeah, he went right for the darkness. <laughs> Can't blame him though. So let's uh, let me put a pause on this. We'll flip you guys around, put you back on the stand. Let's get a couple crickets, see if we can't get some action. Voice over time, ranchers lost audio there, so we're gonna add in these crickets here. Yeah, I definitely have no clue what happens. So these guys can shoot a noxious uh, liquid too, so be careful. Do not stick your face down in there, y'all. They can be pretty accurate with it. There, we're adding them now. Just dropped in two. I wish we had uh, been able to get them coming out and stuff, but hey, I want to thank y'all for watching. Please hit like, subscribe, comment, share. We'd love to hear from y'all. And this is it, guys. Saturday Night Creature Feature. This is going to be a thing. 
So thanks again for watching. We'll see you all again soon. There she is, ranchers. Assassin bug. Horde king assassin. Out and about. And I want to say, it may have molted into a full adult. That was perfect. We put him in there when we did. I saw him just, the end of the video, you guys remember, he just tucked right down in there. I think he immediately went upside down and, and molted. And this is, this is great. We'll give him some food tonight.